Wow, what a beautiful day and a fantastic view of Dubai as well. I can stand here all day, but it's time for Zaran to pick me up for lunch. And he said he's gonna surprise me with a brand new car today. So let's head down and see what it is. this it's a new GAC look at those lights love them good morning good morning what a surprise <laughs> So, I know it's a brand new GAC, but which one is it? It's the all new GS5 and it's just been launched in the UAE. So you remember we drove the GAC GS8, the brand's flagship SUV a while back? Yeah, the GS8, I think we drove it almost a year ago. And if you remember, it was one of the first cars that changed my whole perspective on Chinese cars in general. It was approximately a year ago, but in just a year, see how far they've come. Wow. Yeah, I can see man, so far. Look at the design, it's so impressive. And what's up with the center console and infotainment screen straight out of the Mercedes S-Class? <laughs> There's actually a funny story behind that. You know, the designer who goes by the name of Zhang Fan worked at Mercedes-Benz for eight years before moving to GAC Motor. And so there are a few influences that have been carried over. But remember, the GS5 was launched before the new S-Class. So the real question is who copied who? <laughs> well, you say a few, I see a lot, but it's so impressive. Like, forget about that story. The quality here, man, the materials they're using, you have like leather here up on the dashboard, some leather on the door, soft touch materials everywhere. And by the way, everything feels so well built. Do you know what's even more surprising? This is the basic model of the GS5. What? This is the basic model? Yep, and it comes with a sunroof, power adjustable driver's seat, cruise control, wireless charger, dual zone climate control system, rear view camera, tire pressure monitoring system, among so many other features. Speaking of that climate control though, man, it's so hot outside and this AC is brilliant. It's it so cold. But wait, like no other manufacturer in the market will offer you such features in a basic model. It's so impressive. True, and it's more than just the tech, right? I mean, look at the design. It's so minimal and classy with this wood trim, silver accents and soft touch material on the dashboard, the door panel and the center console. I agree, like I love the design. Now you have to pull over and let me check the car from the outside and let's see if it's as impressive on the outside as it is here on the inside. Sure. You'd be very happy to know that the designers and engineers have put as much effort into designing the exterior as they have on the interior. And for some strange reason, if you don't like this gray color that we have on our test car, there are five other exterior colors that you can choose from. I actually like this color. It's fine for an SUV in this size, but I love the design. Although you have like a lot of lines, edges and curves happening around the car, but all in all, it doesn't look silly at all. Actually, the design looks really good. And I love that floating roof effect they have at the end of the car. By the way, how big are the alloy wheels? They're 18 inch alloys, but did you notice the Matrix LED headlights? They use the same kind of technology you'd find in an Audi. Or if you want to go even more expensive, a Bugatti Chiron. A Chiron? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Like I can see there's a lot of details that gone into designing these front headlights. They do look really, really nice. 
No way. It also has a full LED light bar in the back. Yep, like a lot of other premium cars such as the Audi A8 and the Porsche Cayenne, the GS5 gets a full length LED light bar in the back that's made up of 190 LEDs. In fact, it also gets this roof mounted spoiler and this sporty diffuser. Wow, the details show, man. Impressive. I know a lot of you in the comments are going to start, okay, he's not saying anything negative about the car. But remember, for a Chinese car, the GS5 just keeps on impressing me. Awesome. Now, just hop into the passenger side. It's my time to experience the drive and drive the GS5. Is that why you asked me to pull over? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what this baby can do. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, what's going on? Why didn't the uh, parking brake release? Ah, that's a safety feature. The parking brake won't release oh. until the driver is wearing their seatbelt. I was so excited to drive it, I forgot that, but let's check it out. All right, seatbelt on and... Off we here go. Here we go. <laughs> wow, what a nice safety feature. Awesome. Oh, wow, this is so much smoother than I imagined. The steering is accurate, the car has enough power, and that suspension, man, just irons the road. It really does. Also, did you notice how quiet it is in here? Do you know that when measured in decibels, this car is actually quieter than the Honda CRV, Hyundai Tucson, and the BMW X1 when idling and driving? Wow. Well, forget about measurements. The cabin is really super quiet. So what about the engine? Let me guess. It does feel like a turbo. Well done. It is a turbocharged engine. It's a 1.5 liter turbo that puts out 166 horsepower and 265 Newton meters of torque. Oh, that's nice. That's a lot more torque than other cars in this segment. So what about the gearbox? It's a six speed automatic that you can shift manually. And there's three drive modes, eco, snow, and normal. Actually, it looks like a pretty empty road up ahead. Do me a favor and floor it. Yeah, why not? Let's see what this car can do. Whoa. I didn't expect this SUV to react this quickly. And thank God there is no CVT whining while, it, while it's doing it. It definitely feels fast. And the best part is that it's fitted with ITT brake pads. ITT, what is that? Let me take this. Intelligent Traction Technology. Now, ITT <laughs> is an Italian manufacturer of brake pads oh. for sports cars. Wow. So you combine the brake pads with the Continental tires that we have on this car. And believe it or not, but it will stop faster from 100 kilometers per hour than an Audi R8, what? a McLaren 570, and a Porsche 911. Okay, you want to try it out? There's no one around. Let me okay. see how fast this thing stops from... No! Oh. Whoa! That was... <laughs> this is awesome! Those ITT people know what they're doing. They sure do. Anyway, after all this, I'm feeling super hungry. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's head to this place in City Walk called Farzi. I heard some really good reviews. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, we can sit down, discuss the GS5, GAC, and more about Chinese cars. Let's do it. Wow, this is a really nice place and the staff is so friendly. Yeah, I love the ambience. But before we turn this into a restaurant review, let's talk more about the GAC GS5. Tell me, how much is it? So, like I said, the car we have is the basic model and it is a little on the pricey side. It starts at 94,900 dirhams in the UAE. Well, it might be more expensive than other Chinese car in the market, but still, the quality, design and features you're getting at that price are also much better as well. And a lot of people don't know how important it is to have 
a well-reputed dealer behind the brand, just like Gergash is behind GAC here in the UAE. Very true. I mean, having a good dealer can either make or break a brand. And Gargash right now is offering a five-year, 150,000 kilometer warranty on all nice. GAC models. In fact, with the uncertainty that we have going on in the market right now, they've also introduced a great leasing program. Oh, really? Tell me more about it. No down payment, no bank approvals, no service, no maintenance, no insurance, no registration costs. Wow, what a great deal. So you basically just fill up the car with fuel, pay your salary and drive. Exactly. It's a brilliant deal. Yeah, and on that note, it's the end of our video. Please tell us what you think about the GAC GS5 down in the comments below. And as usual, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you soon. And let me hide. Oh, 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 me. What, 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 what? Okay. Just move away. Move away. It's gone. Halos. <laughs> you have that in camera. You have camera. me running away from a bee. Use it. It's <laughs> Twice! You're gonna love this. The keeps coming back! Bloopers, Mason. Bloopers. <laughs>